Hi there, I'm Peter Russell from supertax.ca. Welcome to another one of my video blogs. In today's topic, we're going to be expanding on our discussion of capital gains for income tax purposes here in Canada. Now, I've done a video before which discussed the basic capital gain and showed a basic calculation of a capital gain where you had bought some shares and sold the same shares within the same year. Now, we're going to be expanding on this calculation because it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes you buy multiple times the same shares in a given year. Sometimes you receive dividends on those shares and sometimes they're invested into additional units of those shares. Sometimes there are stock splits in which you have to readjust your adjusted cost base based on the number of shares you have. And sometimes you don't sell all your shares in the given year. Sometimes you only sell a fraction of them. Therefore, you have a carry forward adjusted cost base into the next year. Well, I've got an example which I've written on my big board, which I'm going to just move the camera so we can all see. I hope you can see this. I'm sure I can in from the side, but uh, here's my example. We've bought some Apple stock in this example. Now, Apple right now is trading about $385. I've just changed the numbers. 85, sorry, $385 per share roughly. Uh, here in November 2011, but um, it goes up and down a little bit. But for this example, I'm changing the numbers a bit. So let's assume on May 1st of this year, we bought 100 shares of Apple at $368, which was probably the price around that time. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But anyways, so it cost $36,800. And then we, we paid some commission on that, that, that purchase. $368. Now, let's suppose July 1st we decide to buy some more shares of Apple. So we bought 175 shares at $341, giving us uh, ACB that we've put into it of $25,575. We paid some commission again of $255, which is 1% of that number. So, so far we've built up all this adjusted cost base on your 175 shares. Then October 1st, Apple decides to make a dividend payment of $4 per share. Now we own 175 shares. 175 times 4 is $700. That would go to the adjusted cost base. Now we're assuming for this example, we're going to make it simple, that the market value of that share on October 1st was $350. So we get two full shares. So now we have 177 shares. Our total ACB is $63,698. Now let's suppose a few, you know, a few weeks after, Apple decides to do a stock split. So now we will receive two shares for every share we own. So now we own 354 shares, okay, with an ACB of 63698 the average ACB per share is $179.94. Okay, so now let's decide to sell some of these shares. Say because we did the stock split, you know, the, the market value of the shares has been cut in half, but let's say now the market value of, 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 of Apple, say in December, say we decide, decide just before year end, we decide to sell 50 shares at $200 per share. So we got 50 times 200 is 10,000, less than commission. I'm sorry I haven't written it in, but it's about $100, 1% of 10,000. Then we got to just then we got to deduct the ACB of 50 shares. Well, we calculated the new ACB based on all the transactions above at $179.94. Multiply that by 50 gives you an amount of 8,996. Our capital gain is $904. So I've run out of room, but only half of that tax, half of that capital gain is taxable, which would be $452. That would be taxed at your marginal rates on your Canadian income tax return. So let's suppose that you're earning $200,000 a year. You're definitely in the top marginal bracket, which for Canada in 2011 is 46.41%. That means that you would be paying capital gains tax on 46.41% of $452. Well, that's my example. Look out, in the next couple of days, I will be posting additional capital gain examples 
where we run into issues with personal use property and listed personal property. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave one below or you can send me an email at peter at supertax.ca. Thank you very much.